Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another fabulous collaboration um, called Use It or Snooze It, The Great Mind of Brandy, a uh, left-handed crafter. So she is my collab partner, so be sure and check out her video. Uh, sadly, this is going to be the last collab for me, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But first, I want to talk about this amazing kit. All right, so this is the kit of the month called Phases, and I'm so glad that I, I was able to get this kit because I love it. Y'all know I love moons and things. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I'm tired. I've been running, and <laughs> I was trying to get, like, everything done so I could sit down and do this video tonight. It's, like, literally hours before Saturday, so um, I... I don't know if it'll, it'll be up super early Saturday because I'm sleeping in. I do have to go out and run some errands, but I'm sleeping in a little bit. So, and I don't know how to set it to like do a time, but whatever. That's beside the point. Okay, so let's talk about these stamps. So, I honestly, this is the only kit, the only kit that I do not have a snooze it on. Um, I, I love it all. I really do like I, I love witches I love the sisters of the moon stamp um I love I love let's get smashed and the little cute little pumpkins and I think this would be an amazing birthday background little stars I love moon phases all y'all know I love owls I love the toadstools like little mushroom things I love the snail I love the big moon to go still like I do I like it all um the moon made me do it no matter what phase, no matter the phase you're in, you'll always be whole, uh, make it a time to remember, like, I love it, oh, I just love it, <laughs> so, I guess I should call it, this is the use it or use it kit, but, anyway, um, I love, I totally want to do one of these cards, I'm not going to do that tonight, but totally want to do that, and I love that they do give you some ideas, I love that, like, oh, I just love it all, and then you get some freebies with the kit, um, let's see, I put them up here. Uh oh, everything's piled on top of them. Just a second. Ah, uh, okay. So you get that, that. Um, I tore the paper. Oh my goodness. Some paper here, there. I love. I just. I mean, you could do that yourself with a punch, but I just love that it's already done, right? So, cute little heart lace. I don't know what that is exactly, but a tag and little, anyway, little bits and bobs, okay? So, always good to have some bits and bobs, right? Okay, so let's get started on our stuff while we chat. Um, so, first up, I am using, I, I guess, if I had to pick, this is my snooze it, okay? Um, although it's really not like none of them are so um i tell you what honestly i've already got these stamped out so there's really no point in me stamping that out y'all see what that is right um so i'm just gonna save some time save that one out um and then i stamp them on cream okay so i um, stamp some extra ones so i can have extra um you'll see this stuff because it'll be everywhere before it's over i bought a bag of like dried moss, I don't know what it is, but it looked creepy. Oh no, it's everywhere. Uh, it's gonna drive me crazy. Um, well, it's gonna be everywhere before it's over anyway, so I'm just gonna dump that. All right, so I use this new Simon Says folder. Comes with a die, uh, but it's the uh, the tree one that they put out for. I think it was stamp timber. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but um, usually I write the name up here, but I haven't yet. So, um, I embossed with that, and I actually, I did a few, and, because I was originally going to do, like, a spooky one, so I did a black, and I was going over it with, um, with some of these, I love these, uh, these are the Finnebear Metallic Wax, something, Vintage Gold, what color is that, Old Silver, and Soot, um, so I was kind of going over with that. And then I went to a little bit darker. There's more pieces of that stuff. Um, and more pieces. Anyway, so we're not using that. So I talk about it, right? Let's try to scrape all those little things away. Okay, so we're going, we were going to go with this. 
Okay. Um, and then I ended up changing to this. So it's between this and this right now. I did the Tim Holtz um, wood kind of thing. Embossing folder just looks like kind of like a tree or something. So I opened some of these and um, they were not doing well. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to let them go. Um, I've just, I did not put the uh, stuff that you're supposed to put on there um, to like, keep it moist or whatever. And I just don't think it's going to, like even when I try to get it on there, it's just not expanding loose. It's, it's kind of a dud for me, to be honest. Um, but it probably my fault. This was the one, this felt was the only one I could get to work because I hadn't opened it. And it wasn't still moose-like. It was hard, but I could still... Um, put my finger in and that's where I got a little bit of that so I'm gonna go with these vintage gold I don't feel like I want any silver on here so um, I'm just gonna put a little there and kind of hopefully hit the highlights of things okay so let's talk about my sad news now um, it's my fault though it's not Anybody, I don't have anybody else to blame but myself. So, um, I, I joined the Kid of the Month Club a while back. I can't remember exactly when it started. When I started in January, I don't know. But, um, it's been a while. So, and it's been fun. I love, I love her ideas and things like that. Um, but, and I've always liked Unity Kits before. Um, now, some of these have not been the greatest. Y'all know that we've kind of talked about that, and some, you know, some have been pretty good, but it's just kind of hit or miss, and that's kind of what you get when you get, when you join a kit of the month club. Sometimes you're going to like it, sometimes you're not. Um, this kind of got a strong smell, though. <laughs> My nose is really sensitive, though, so there's that. Um, just wipe that off a little bit. Okay, uh, so I went ahead and just cut these out. And uh, look what I got, y'all. <laughs> Hopefully, burn proof, right? <laughs> y'all remember last time I like burnt. Oh, what did I burn over here? Yeah, it was, yeah, I hurt. Um, all right, so I did two of these. I didn't, I cut this off over here, and I don't even know how I'm gonna use it exactly, but um. I'm going to have to color up these. Cut out one of the two of those. And then I'll cut out that cute little snail. Is he adorable or what? Um, I'm going to just, I maybe just tuck him in somewhere else. Um, so what I used was, I'm just going to go ahead and color some because I mean, I'm going to need them later, right? I'm going to do a couple of cards. Maybe not on here, but... Because I don't know if that battery will hold. <laughs> but, um... So, basically, just kind of... Went over the... Oops. All those little things are flicking everywhere. Um... Kind of here and there and everywhere. I might just do those, too. I don't know. Um... And this is the Fossilized Amber... And I'll sort of clean off my brush a little. But I'm using a color pretty similar, I feel like. And this is Rusty Hinge, so it'll just add a little bit more, um, I don't know, a little touch of something here and there. And it doesn't matter if I stay in the lines because, you know, I'm cutting it out, so big deal, right? Um, and that's my fun, the most fun way to color, I think. snail be the color I don't know okay um but anyway so we got the kit and uh I just added I know they're probably not green to be honest but eh, it's mine I can do it a lot with it right so it's a bit creative um but anyway uh you can highlight these little things down here if you want. Just a bit more green here and there. doesn't really make a 
huge difference, but you know, a little color. Anyway, so uh, I, when I joined, everything was cool, right? And then Unity was doing some kind of big changeover, kind of recently. I don't really know when. I don't remember, but um, they had contacted me and like with my kit or something. I think they'd sent an email once too, and they contacted me with my kit and said, um, like contact them to switch over to their new system or whatever. Well, to be honest, I just wanted everything to stay the same. Like I wanted the same, um, where did this brush? The same credit card, the same, um, whatever, right? So I wasn't really concerned about it, I thought. Um, probably not much, <laughs> not much left on there. Um, I guess I could put bit of that dark red. That might be too dark though. Eh, maybe not. Um, we could try it. It won't hurt, I don't believe. Um, but anyway, so to be honest, I just never did. I just thought they would just switch it over or just keep, like, it kept coming out of my account, so even after their big switch over, so I just didn't exactly worry about it. I didn't really think I needed to switch over. It was just one of those little tedious tasks that I just, I don't know, I didn't really feel like was necessary or something. And so, but apparently it was. <laughs> so um, they kind of cut me off. And so it was like, you know, I got my last kit or whatever and, um, do this a little bit darker. Um, but I really just didn't believe it was going to be my last one, but then it was. So I noticed that it did not come out of my uh, account or whatever, and so I was like, well, shoot. <laughs> Maybe I really did need to do it. Um, but, like, I was on the fence anyway. I was I was basically okay with it. Um, I, I definitely did want to keep going until January, but we had talked about you know, not doing whatever, um, or possibly continuing after that, because we were both a little, yeah, you know, weren't sure about the, the club. Um, so since I have these out, this horrible little demon gun, um, now I know why Sandy from Crafting for Almost Everyone calls hers a demon gun or something, but, um, now I get it. Um, now, I, I really didn't see in the kit a sentiment to go with this, but um, let me know what you guys think. If y'all think one of those goes with that. What is on my gun? It's like melted grossness. Oh, it's that black string I had. Oh, well. Um. Uh, maybe there. Uh, oh, <laughs> I did say I was going to put these on, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Hope it works. I don't feel like that's enough glue. Um, oh, I'm about to do it again. Holy shit. Okay. So, I'm trying to put the other thing in here. <laughs> Y'all see that? It just popped my stick out. Oh, maybe, maybe there's a trick to work in the glue guns that I'm not um, coordinated enough to know about or do or I don't know what. Maybe I should just stick to my tape, which I did order more of today, actually, because I'm running very low. I'll use that. Maybe that's what that thing's for. Hmm. Um, maybe it is. <laughs> I think it holds it up, but whatever. Um, okay. So we might do this one too. Is that like glued down? I guess it is. <laughs> um,
kind of like that pop of red on there actually, but I think I'm going to put some of this. I think maybe I'll just put a bunch of glue along the bottom here. Ooh, it's popping. Oh no, y'all. I forgot. The other day, well not the other day, it's been like a, probably a month now. Um, I say everything's the other day. But anyway, I put a bunch of drinks in my freezer, or like my little fridge at work. And um, I forgot <laughs> And had I had a pop. It wasn't even in the freezer though. It was like under the freezer. So I don't know. It's like a tiny little freezer, you know. But anyway, um, it made this really big popping noise, and it um, my pop exploded, right? I because I thought maybe I didn't know. If, oh no, this is horrendous. Um, I'm never gonna be able to clean all this up. Let me put this. Hope those work. <laughs> um, now I'm just going to drop some of that little junk on there. Little extra bits. Is that too much? That's a little much, isn't it? I, well, it, it wouldn't, they, let me just cut this off. It basically wouldn't be too much, but I'm trying to put some moss on there too. So I don't want to get like complete, whatever this is called, overload. Um, okay. Well, I can trim all this junk off later. So anyway, but my point was to the other part was um, I left this time in the freezer because I thought I was just going to get it cold and then have lunch, but I didn't actually get lunch and I forgot about it. So there goes that. Now I feel like it's really going to seriously explode. Like, uh, and it sounded like, I mean, like I ducked because we had just been talking about a, um, a gun, you know, a, like a school shooting training or whatever and uh, I guess that was like on my mind and I totally ducked but I, I still really didn't know what it was like if it was my fridge or if the computer like everything was still working so and then later I found it because like I wasn't drinking it I didn't actually see it and it kind of exploded towards the back so yeah it was a mess a mess um Just gonna tuck that in there. I kind of think the the glue gives it a little, just a touch of like a 3D ish look. Um, what I do with that little? Where's my snail, y'all? Oh, there he is. Okay. Um. Huh. Color is he gonna be? Maybe he can be a green snail, slug, whatever. Can have a nice little tan. Ooh, it's a little dark. Oh ah, well, it's okay. We've kind of committed now, haven't we? So anyway, um, so Unity cut me off, and if I go back. I was already, like, I think Brandy got in on, like, the good price, um, so, uh, back in the day or whatever, because she's been in it for a pretty good while, I think, um, but mine was, like, 40, 42, maybe, something like that, and, um, so it was a little high, I thought, for what, what I was getting out of it. It's not, I mean, they have excellent quality, like, fabulous, I was pleased with with everything like that, and, um, okay, I'm not going to color up green, I'm going to color him red or something, whatever this color is, 
Um, it's not the best look. <laughs> oh well. Uh, so should I put him in there, kind of? I should put some moss first. But it's like live moss. Super moss. Oh, talk about a mess. OMG. Alright. Um, That's flicking out everywhere. Just gonna add some here and there and everywhere for right now. Get this protection little hickey back on. Get a forest. I want to touch it so bad I can't seem to not touch it. Why am I getting big globs of glue right there? Alright, so this is not the most elegant looking uh, demonstration, but real life crafting, people. Real life crafting. It's messy. Um, oh, here's a piece of like wood. That's cool. like that whatever that is so I guess you'd have to kind of mail this card a bit more delicately um, some of the stuff might fall off for your recipient so that's a little too much I just need some smaller stuff here glue boogers here and there. Alright, so now where are we going to put our snail? Maybe on top. Some of it fall out at least. I mean, you can't like cut it off perfect because then it doesn't look natural, but we can give it a little bit of a trim, I suppose. Okay, so this is like a blank space, so I have to put more there. Um, but anyway. So, sadly, the price to rejoin is now at like 60-something, 60 62, 60, I can't remember for sure, but it's a lot, or a lot to me anyway. Um, so, I'm not going to be able to swing that because, you know, I've got my other ordering to do as well, and from what I'm getting from the kit, I was just barely paying the 42, you know what I mean? Um... However, this particular kit, I'm super glad that it didn't happen before that came out, or this kit came out, because I would have been devastated. And I would have still had to order the thing and pay more and all that, and it would have been a hot mess. But um, I saw next month's kit, and I need another glue stick. Um, and it wasn't, I liked it, but it wasn't like I was going to die without it. Do you know how you feel sometimes like I'm not going to live without this kit um so it wasn't like that at least so it was okay um all right now let's give it another flick get those glue strings off of there hot glue is terrible for doing the string thing okay 
So we've got our little snail and our whatever's over here. But, like I said, I can't... Oh, please tell me I forgot to turn this on. Okay, I got it. It's on. <gasps> that would have been horrible. Um, Alright, I'm try to get those back together. Push all that in here. Oh, oh, I know what I was going to do. Here, these things. So I cut some of these. Um, let me just, I cannot handle this mess, y'all. Actually, you know what I could do? I could just take that and that. I think I can, no, here's more. I can scrape all of it up and kind of um, put a couple of extra pages down. There's still like weird junk all over my thing. Everything melts to it. bring it back one quick second. Let me just get one extra piece here. Because I don't want to make a mess. So, I keep these cut out, like, just if I need them, you know. A little greenery or whatever. So, I don't know if this is going to be, like, too much. Maybe with a the sentiment there. Maybe not that shade. I feel like I like a darker something. Or maybe even over top of it, you think? I don't know. I don't think I can. I've glued it down so much. I don't know if I can get it behind. But maybe. That's not too bad. Find another piece of that. And of course I have none. I have, I don't have my color this thing. Possibility of using. If I didn't glue it down already, well, there's a big glob of glue. Um, hmm. I don't know. Eh, let me just throw these back up here. So there's the almost card. And a giant glob of glue that I have to do something with. Um, so I don't mind that. I like the little snail, but I still want some sort of sentiment. Maybe just like a high or something later. Because I don't have anything like that in the kit. So <gasps> I just dropped it before. <sighs> Not my light, y'all. <laughs> okay. So my use it stamps are the witches. Um, and then I cut out this slimline die, and my goal is to, well, I ordered this, um, it's a little whimsy stamps die, but I thought it would make a cool little background, so this is what we're going for, okay, and I cut out just a purple um, purple slim line card, and I'm going to do that, and that, and hopefully a moon right there, and the witches on the side, I didn't get that far, but I did make that thing, so we're going to try to recreate that, and we're going to use the blueprint sketch, and wilted violet, 
little pieces everywhere. Um, but anyway, so, but yeah, I'm kind of bummed because, I don't know, I just like to, I don't like to start things and not finish them, but for how expensive it is and things, I'm just not willing to pay that and do that right now, so, um, but never fear because, uh, I don't know if, I think Brandy is, well, she said for right now, at least I think she's going to continue hers until the new year, so she'll probably announce that later on her video if she for sure is going to do that or not. Um, but uh, so I hope she does because I love seeing her cards and I love I love the collab period. Like I mean, it's a really cool idea, but um, just the whole you know me being an idiot basically and not uh, not updating my info. That was all it would have really taken, but. Um, So anyway, so I screwed that one up, y'all. Sorry. Um, but I do hate it because, like, you don't want it to be your fault, you know? Like, I don't mind if somebody else bows out of something or whatever, but I don't like it to be me. So it's kind of a bummer. But um, anyway, like I was going to say, never fear because the great Brandy has had another fabulous idea for a collab. And, um, so it's something that we're going to start in January, and, uh, I will let her do the announcing of that, but I think it's a really cool idea. It's, it's not a kit, but it's something cool. It's a good idea, I think. Um, and way more affordable, like, way more affordable. Um, so I do like that. And, um, but yeah, so she's talking about names and things like that. She, I like the way she names things, too, but, uh. Girl's got a good brain. She, when we were practicing compliments the other day in class, we did this little, like a trick or treat thing, and we talked about how you could give somebody a treat, and it's got these little cards you cut out, and but they're like compliment cards, and we talked about how it makes people feel good, and you know, blah blah blah. Just um, so I I like how you or I, just whatever, and we talked about like compliments, like yes, you could say, um, and then we're gonna do a little bit of water here um you know you could say like you have pretty eyes or you know your hair is pretty or whatever and that's a compliment true but um that's like if we were grading it it's just like like a b you know <laughs> it's, it's nice but it's not a deep compliment right like i want to hear you know you have a kind heart you're a good friend because whatever or i don't know um something deeper right with the kids so um, they, they were grasping that, and then we were giving compliments to, like, everybody that walked in the door, which, random people, for some reason, there's a, a coffee machine in there where I was doing the class, too, so, um, like, a couple of aides came in, the principal came in for a minute, and he went to, the, like, a storage closet, and something else, somebody else came in, who was, and then there was the gym teacher was already in there, and anyway, so they had lots of people to practice on, so that was pretty cool, um, but, uh, uh, I'm saying all that to say what? <laughs> I don't know what my point is. Oh, your brain. So, one, uh, one little girl, she said um, one of her compliments to somebody was, I think you have the best brain ever. And anyway, it was to a teacher. Like, you know, she was like, you're just so smart and you teach us and you bowl. Anyway, it was just the cutest little thing. And, um, and then some were like kind of thankful for like basically having a he spelled it because you have to write it out right and then we say it and then they get to say one to each other at the table and all that and then I ask them what their favorite one was and blah 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 um so okay I hope I'm not messing up by doing the moon first because I don't actually have my heat gun plugged up but oh well let's just go for it um didn't actually think I part through. I got out the ink and that was kind of as far as I got. But that's okay. Um, but anyway, he he was thankful for his granny providing a woo woof, which is W O O F. I thought it was so cute. And uh, and one little girl, she's like, "Do you know my daddy's boss?" And I said, "Well, actually, I do." She's like, "Will you give this to them and tell like?" You know, she was, like, thankful for him 
uh, the boss giving him a job. And it, they just came up with some cool little whatever. And then some were like deeper than that, you know. And um, But really sweet. And it just made their little day. It was so cute because like everybody was in a good mood. And um, everybody was kind of complimenting everyone and bragging on stuff. Or you're, a, you know, the fastest runner I've ever seen. Or, um, you know, thank you for helping me like carry my books when I broke my arm or just, I don't know. They just really embraced it. It was real cute. And, uh, uh but anyway, so I think Brandy has a, a really cool brain. They said there was one other brain thing, something about like a, not a mushy brain. Cause that sounds bad, but, um, I can't remember exactly now. It was, it was just cute though. Probably shouldn't tell you a story if I can't get it right. Can I, um, So unfortunately, I should have let that dry. But and the the what do you call that? The moon phases. Um, I think that would have been pretty cool on here too. So I think I'm gonna have to move his glue on because I'm gonna burn myself with that sucker. Well, oh man, I really needed that to be dry. So I need to do them right there and right there. And maybe put Sisters of the Moon in the middle. Let's do that. Okay, I want to see her hat. So I want her just to scoot down just a touch. But anyway, what I was trying to say is I like the way Brandy thinks. And um, she comes up with some awesome ideas. So, so look for a new collab coming up starting in January from us. Um, and if you've enjoyed watching, I totally, totally appreciate you watching um, for all the ones you have. I feel like these little things are like alive and they're going to get me. But it's been fun. Um, I don't know, just seeing what, what's in the other person's mind. And, and I know um, she and I both have very different... Oh man, how am I going to do this? Uh, very different ideas of what we like. And some of it's quite the same and some is quite different. So... I'm going to use that other witch, but I think I'm just going to use this one. Okay. I got to try. I don't know why I have to turn it this way, but I just do. It'll look a little wonky on camera for a minute, but... Today at school has been testing. We do something called like a, a benchmark testing kind of thing. Um, we have so many tests now. It's just unreal for the kids though. It's just, it's too much testing to be honest. It's like when, when do you have time to teach stuff? But, um, so that has been quite a busy day there. Okay. I like that. All right, so now let me try where to go. Sisters of the Moon. But I'm still gonna go ahead and do it on here because I would take a shot at just doing it myself, but I'll probably mess that up. But anyway, um, I'm very excited to see what Brandy is going to do with this kit. Just because I think I like the kit so much. that <laughs> um, I always like her ideas anyway. Like, no matter what they are, it seems to work out beautiful. But um, I especially want to see them even more when I there's like a stamp I like. Or in this case, the whole kit. So, that's cool. But, and if you guys have this, um, 
do us a, like, hit us back with a video or whatever. I, what do they call that? A response video? Or a, I don't know. There's some more cool names than that, I think. But, um, anyway, I would love to see what you do with this kit, too. All right, I need some tape. Really wanted to go to Spirit Halloween tomorrow, but it's a bit too far, and I just uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna just order it online because um, we have like a college and career week coming up, and um, so I'm gonna let the kids do my makeup. I think I told you. I think I told y'all that. I don't know. Um, one of the careers that we're going to cover some I get people to come in like I've got a cosmetologist and a college and a this and that but um some we can't find anything for we're doing an army thing I'll tell you more about that later but um for this let me just do one more strip just so <laughs> I know it really really holds okay anyway I want them to be special effects makeup special effects you know, makeup artists, and because this class kind of combines the cosmetology, and there's several people in there that want to be artists, and um, just different things, so I thought that would be a cool one to do, and uh, there's some really, really cool, I have to show you a picture of it, um, some really gross mouths, and actually, I kind of want to save one of the mouths for um, when we do a lesson on gossip, so that would be kind of neat. Um, but they're pretty <laughs> pretty gross and like little horns you can mold like eyeballs that are not just like press on like you mold them like they're coming out of your hands or your face or whatever so and I'm kind of afraid that they might break out so I have to let them do it on me um, so yay <laughs> but we'll probably do that the day of Halloween because uh, they get out I think three hours early and then they have a trunk or treat um, where parents and community members y'all know what that is they come and give out treats to the kids and whatever they can decorate their trunk and some of them do a really fabulous job at it um, but uh, that we won't have much time that day so I think that's the only major thing I'll be doing that day but it will definitely be an eventful week the week it's the week of like I said the week of Halloween so um got a little time to prepare and I think I can just order it from Spirit Halloween and get it in versus going because I know if I go I will spend money that I do not have so because I love me some Halloween speaking of Halloween you guys should check out Susan Tootsie Tucker's video um uh, I haven't finished it yet. I actually just saw it come up all ago. Um, oops. Uh, it was of the thorny frame um, from Whimsy Stamps, and I just ordered that today, so I'm super excited that she used it. And I was like, oh, yes, yes, yes. I love, because I love getting ideas. I, I like how our mind works anyway, especially with howling and creepy cute and funny and all that good stuff. Um, but I... Uh, I really wanted some more ideas for that die, and I couldn't believe she used it, like, just right after I ordered it. It was so cool. Or at least the video, you know, popped up then. Okay. Uh, it's just got a little bit of tape sticking out here. <laughs> Try to tuck that under. I know I'm out of focus here. I'm sorry, y'all. Hopefully that will do it. Okay. And once that dries, that would probably, be, I don't know if you can even tell it's a moon, but eh. maybe I, and that's why I cut this early. I was going to do a mask. <laughs> Forgot about that too. Um, but I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, let her fly away, right? Okay. So here is this one. 
and then let's get this one back out and well when I dropped it I must have lost that piece somewhere along the way but I do think I'm going to keep that in and probably that other little piece there I feel like that could use well it's usually out here my wick is still or whatever it's called The right one, yeah. Now let's just glitter everything while we've got it out. But anyway, um, so like I said, thank you so much for for tuning in for all these months that we've been doing this, and I, um, I'm sorry for <laughs> messing my part up, and um, but hopefully she will still continue until um, until December. And maybe even beyond, who knows? Because the kits could get like super fabulous. You never know. Um, did y'all hear that? Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> I think it's pretty well empty. Just need one more little good burst of it. Anyway. So I think I need to cover up that because that's like a giant no maybe it'll just peel off sweet <laughs> some of the glue is kind of showing you know what I mean like maybe get rid of some of those and then I need something right there so we'll do some of that and I'm gonna call that done y'all so here's my use it and my use it but kind of snooze it but if I so if I had to have a pig because they're not my like favorite maybe um little mushrooms like maybe they could have a little more oomph life to them but I do like them so I can't really be hate on them too much but anyway if uh, if you are new to stamping I think this unity kit is an amazing kit I do think it's a little getting a little high but they do have excellent quality stamps so I don't know if you're interested go for it but I will talk to y'all later and thank you Brandy for um, hosting and inviting me to join in this collab and allowing me to participate and all that good stuff and not being mad at me for um messing up <laughs> so i will talk to y'all later i love you guys bye